Hi. Now in this question, we're asked to show that the derivative with respect to y of y times the natural log of 2y minus y is the natural log of 2y. So if you'd like to have a go at this question, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. Do come back when ready and you can check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So let's see how you got on. Well, if I'm doing this, first of all, what I'd want to do is just write out that I am differentiating with respect to y our function here, which is y multiplied by the natural log of 2y minus y. And to differentiate this, I notice that the first term here is a product of two functions of y. So we're going to need to use the product rule for differentiating that term. I'm assuming that you're familiar with the product rule, but if not, just a quick reminder that if you're looking in a formula book or textbook, quite often you see it given as y equals uv, where u and v are two functions of x. And they're multiplied together. What we do is to find dy by dx, we take one of the functions, let's say u, and multiply it by the differential of the other function, and then plus v, we take the second function, say, and multiply it then by the differential of the first function. Now, what we've got here, though, is not functions of x, but functions of y. But the process doesn't really fundamentally change. We just take one part, y, say, multiply it by the differential of the natural log of 2y with respect to y, and then plus, and we take natural log of 2y, multiply it by the differential of y. OK, so let's start that part then. So we take the first part, y, and now we've got to multiply it by the differential of the natural log of 2y. And to do this, we need to use the chain rule. If we're differentiating with respect to y, the natural log of 2y, let's just put that down here, then what we do is we let the 2y OK, let's just say where 2y is equal to t, or t equals 2y. And so to differentiate the natural log of essentially t, we differentiate the natural log of t with respect to t, and then we multiply this with dt by dy. It's as if these two dt's cancel out. OK, just leaving us with the differential of the natural log of essentially 2y with respect to y, which is what we're doing here. OK, so I hope you can follow that idea anyway, the chain rule. So if we're doing that then, we've got the first part, y. Now we're going to multiply it by differential of natural log of 2y. So it's going to be differential of the natural log of t with respect to t, which is 1 over t. But t is 2y. So we've got 1 over 2y. And we multiply this now by dt by dy. So if I differentiate t with respect to y, this is just going to be 2. OK, so we've got the chain rule then within the product rule. OK, so we've done y times the differential of natural log of 2y. Now we do plus, and we take the natural log of 2y now, and we multiply this by the differential of y, which is going to be 1. I'm going to put this in brackets, OK, and then multiply that by the 1. And now I've done the product rule here on the differential of the first term. Now I just need to differentiate this second term, minus y, with respect to y, and that's just simply minus 1. So it's just a question now of tidying this up. And I can see that what I've got here is y times 1 times 2, which is going to be 2y, divided by 2y. That's just going to give me 1. I'll put that in, OK, as being 1. And then we've got here 1 times the natural log of 2y. So that's going to be plus the natural log of 2y. And then we've got minus 1 there. 
and you can see that the ones cancel, just giving us zero and leaving us with the natural log of 2y. Okay, so I hope that's giving you an idea then how to do that if you're stuck, if you're able to do it. Well done.